think I'm perfect. Hey guys, it's your boy Haunted Fusion back at it again with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to cover 5 tips you need to know in Fortnite. For those of you who don't know what Fortnite is, Fortnite is an online battle royale game where 100 players jump out of a battle bus onto an island and then fight each other until one person is left victorious. Hidden around the island are chests, weapons, and items like rifles and grenade launchers. These items are a key to your success. Another key to winning is getting materials like wood and brick, which is where we are gonna start tip number one. Tip number one, get materials. The most important thing to your survival in this game next to weapons is the building materials. These are the key to your victory royale. When breaking trees or bricks, make sure to jump while you mine. This makes it a harder target for enemies to hit. Another, don't forget to hit the blue circle that appears on your item after your first hit. It should look a little something like this. That circle helps break items quicker while also giving you extra materials. Even though materials are your best friend in this game, you don't want to spend a lot of time breaking cars, trees, and bricks. You want to gather up between about 100 and 200 of each materials. This saves you a lot of time. Now, tip number two, building. The building in this game is very crucial, but when someone is shooting at you, you also need to know what to build. The first thing you're gonna wanna build when in a battle is just a simple one by one fort. This gives you cover from all angles while also making it harder for your enemy to hit you. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make your way to Wailing Woods on the map. Once you land, you're gonna start to break trees to get your wood. Then start by placing four walls around you, followed by a set of stairs. Next, we are going to build a proper stairway to get the height advantage you need on your enemy. You're going to start by placing stairs, followed by a wall, and you're going to repeat this process over and over. Tip number three, health. Your health in this game is very important to keep an eye on. Right now, I'm gonna give you just a few little tips on how to save yourself from losing health on fall damage and what to do if you find potions in the game. Say you're running and you're on a mountain and you wanna get down to the bottom of that mountain but you don't wanna take any fall damage. What you're gonna wanna do is, while you're sliding down the side of the mountain, you are gonna wanna place either a floor underneath you or a set of stairs. This should help you from taking Taking any fall damage while falling down the mountain. This can also be used while trying to attack enemies. If you are up very high and you can see the enemy, you can run and jump and before you hit the ground, spam stairs. It should be done just like this. This makes it easier for you to get places quicker while also taking no fall damage. 
depending on where you jump from. Another thing that a lot of people make mistakes of is what to do when you have a mini shield and a big shield. You always want to drink the mini shields first. If you find a big shield before the mini shields, don't drink the big shield. You're going to find two mini shields first, drink those, that should give you 50 shield. Then you're going to find a big shield, which will give you an added 50. Tip number four how to get better aiming and how to get more kills. You're gonna wanna start by going into a squad game or a duos game without the fill turned on. When I was starting to play Fortnite, I was terrible at killing. I was terrible at aiming. I was terrible at doing pretty much everything possible when it comes to trying to get a kill. The only way that I got better at getting kills was by going into squads by myself. It also gives you a better chance at a one-on-four scenario so that you can perform better when it comes to those kind of situations and if that doesn't make sense basically what I'm trying to say is it'll help you get better when you're under pressure kills in this game are one of the major keys to actually winning a game the more players you take out the quicker the game goes tip 5 now I know a lot of you beginners actually might not know about this, but recently in Fortnite, they added first shot accuracy. Now this happens by sitting still while aiming down the sight, your arrows, what's it called? When sitting still, you can see your crosshairs. When you aim down sights and sit still for about two seconds, your crosshairs will start to slowly connect. When they connect, this means that your first shot is a guaranteed hit. This makes it a lot easier for you to do more damage. So, make sure to, you know, give that few extra seconds for that crosshair to come in so that you can get a better, more accurate shot when trying to kill someone. And I think that that's all for today, folks. Let me know what you think of this video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment because uh, all of those, yes, are free. Yeah, they're free. Don't have to pay anything. They're free. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, remember to like and subscribe if you're new. Have a fantastic day.